Hello there, my name is Gevar and welcome to Let's Play Satisfactory. So I've been playing a while without recording, uh, but also I have a few days of break of playing, so uh, I have to remind myself what I've been planning to do. So yeah, uh, the most noticeable things I've achieved uh, is that I finished or expanded this oil extraction uh, point. So there is nothing new really on the island. There are three extractors. I've, I have found the fourth source of the oil on the island next to this main one. But I haven't improved it because the oil output is quite huge anyway. So, yeah. And also, I have set up these uh, truck stations uh, because I've done one uh, oil re uh, refinery. Uh, uh, one, one line goes to the oil refinery, and I'm creating the fuel. And uh, the rest are the raw crud, crud oil that goes to this uh, station over here. And also, as you can see, I have set up a uh, truck uh, puffs. So let's drive. Uh, this is the fuel deli delivery. Mm, trade route there is uh, another one for the oil so yeah this is the truck so this is much much bigger than tractor and it goes all around this building with, uh, to avoid the collisions and drives through the desert to the mm, one more big thing I've completed, I've created the truck terminal, which you will see in a minute. So yeah, I, I've mm, more or less completed this oil de delivery. There are three more resources I want to automate. And the next on the list will be Cartilium. So this is the first time I'm driving with this truck, so it looks like it has some problems with... Oh, it, it was trying to drive through this pole. So let's see how it will handle this problem. Yeah, it, it, it did it, it made it. So uh, the route is quite short and uh, this truck is getting refueled with the fuel, uh, not the biofuel, not the coal, so it is quite efficient. So uh, some problems on the route from time to time. It shouldn't be a big deal. The truck shouldn't get stuck uh, burning all the fuel on the way. So yeah, we are getting close to our base. Let's see how it handles this over here. And I have tried to split the route in and out uh, as widely as possible just to avoid the collisions, especially that there will be multiple trucks uh, driving around. Now there are only two uh, and they might collide quite easily. Here you can see this uh, huge cave that goes to the coal. I've built a little bit of ramp over here to avoid some rocks. 
And now we are getting close to this truck terminal. I tried to color code all the mm, materials that should go in. So this one is for the fuel. It gets unloaded and uh, now it goes to the storage container and also to every single other uh, truck station to refuel them. Uh, there are more truck stations down this road. Over here there is a little garage for my tractors which I'm not using right now. And now we drive back to the uh, oil pumps and uh, refinery. We might be meeting the other truck or not. And yeah, once we will be back to the refinery, uh, we'll be moving to the next part of our plan, the Caterium extraction. I might have set uh, this route through this river, but I... Oh, there will be collision, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Let's see how the trucks will handle it. Yeah, our truck is stronger than the other one. And yeah, very good. So there might be a little bumps here and there on the way, but I think more or less we are good here. refinery and uh, since the trucks are this huge uh, I have also constructed yet another way around over here so this is like the highway and here we have our next truck uh, it will be for the Caterion uh, transportation so let's drive it to the Caterion deposit, which should be very close by. There probably will be some fireflies on the spot because they are keep mm, respawning. I've built two storage containers uh, on the spot with some materials. Uh, also, I, I extracted the disk from this wreck over here. So, yeah, we need to get rid of these fireflies. one okay so 
So the Caterium should be somewhere around here, I believe. Yeah, it's up there. And uh, I keep having troubles uh, to get there. But uh, before I'll try to do so, let's make sure I have enough materials on myself to create Miner Mark II. Um, so I need two portable miners. Let's see. I need encased steel beams, some cables. None of them are here, so. hope I have some cables on my truck and also let's make sure we have enough of steel uh, we are good on this yeah so let's leave it over here and let's get to the truck and hope we have some cables yeah we do And let's make some room for potential stuff we find over there. So there's probably some way around to get there, but I keep having trouble to just jump there. So I think I... I wonder what's this... Bauxite. Oh, this is SAM, so strange alien mineral. So let's get it. Why can't I get any more of this? What happened? Not enough space. Uh, yeah. So. Let's put it into the truck. We don't need that much of concrete anyways. I've picked all this concrete for making this highway and I get over zeals on this. Okay. So now let's try to get up there. I think I'm gonna just drive the truck as close as possible and maybe jump from the roof of it. So the other way to get there is just to build foundations and jump over them. dismantle this stuff but and figure out the way in in a minute but let's get this carterium up and going we will obviously have the truck station down there so let's face this mine in that direction mm, yeah production miner let's make it like this I will need some power later on but for now let's place the belts uh, let's see on the output 
240 so yeah uh, we will need mark 3 for this like that and I wonder how let's, let's just measure stuff too steep, too long. So let's have a look around. How should we get it down to the destination? We could use the lift, which might be a good solution. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, I think I just will put some foundations over here like this one let's try to line it up with the actual miner That's, I can't get good perspective on this so maybe like that yeah this will be our base let's make it like this Place this thingy over here. Mm, or should I use the walls? Um, yeah, let's use the walls instead. Like this. And I believe all the other stuff can be done from below. So before we get there, um, let's try find the actual way I should be getting here. So this is not the way. This is one of the paths I was trying to jump over these uh, uh, rocks to get there, but no luck there. There is also no path over here, maybe through this one, not really. So there actually was no easy way in, maybe from the shelves from above, but I'm not sure. So let's move this truck just to not forget about this. And there are two things we will have to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. And there might be a little bit, a little bug over here. Let's hope I could drive from there. No, I can't. So we will have to dismantle this, but yeah. Mm, before we do this, we need to leave our stuff somewhere. So yeah, to have enough space for the rest of the materials. So let's put another storage container and another one yeah I think this works as intended obviously to the shallow water so we could dismantle this truck there is probably some materials left over there so yeah let's try to rebuild the truck on the shore Or all the materials inside. Let's 
see if I can find the rest of stuff over there. And also if there is any. I don't think there is. I like how this little part looks uh, in between those trees. There seems like there is a path above this, but not sure about that. So yeah, we need to have some concrete and uh, plates for sure to build some walls and stuff. We need some of these as well to make some belts and lifts. So yeah, let's get to the work. station. Let's think this through. Mm. So I, I try to keep the right hand uh, puffs, so right, right hand drive puffs, so yeah. So for example if the truck goes like this it should go back and dock in this truck station so let's try to build that and also there is a quite steep uh, slope over here and i would love to keep the truck station as low as possible but maybe there will be no way to do this Maybe they, they will Let's see how. Yeah, I think this will be the level of the truck station. This over here. So I believe we need like three steps. I need some fuel. So let's see if I have any so anywhere. Because I will be cutting some trees. Um, it seems all right over there. another roll just in case and in this direction as well like this now this wall is to be replaced and now we could use it to get some perspective and obviously we will need some materials on this so we need cables rotors and frames which should be somewhere this and frames so yeah since the input will be over here we will 
place the truck station in this orientation. And the truck station is this wide. I actually think I would like to place it in the middle like this. The way. Now, let's let's make it like this. So yeah, we obviously need some belts to here like this, and we need to figure out how to get this from here to there. It isn't very problematic, but I, I think I, I'm gonna use the lift. Uh, should I rotate it this way? Let's try this out. Is it perfectly lined up or not really? No. So instead of doing this, I will place the lift like that. And try to make some magic happens. Let's jump over to have a little bit better view. Uh, let's just place it like this, I think. Okay, so this is the, like the basic setup. Now let's build the driveways both in and out. I'll try to keep them a little bit less steep than 45 degrees. Also I don't think this is like 45 degrees, maybe it is. Oh, there is this rock over here. It might be a problem, but we, will see. we shall see. Can I? Thank you. And this one. Perfect. So let's see now if this slope hmm, it probably need to be moved one step further like this and this let's hope we could finish it yeah like right here so yeah Let's cut this tree over here. And let's try to drive in with our truck. Hopefully it will not fly into the space this time. So this rock over here is quite problematic, but 
maybe not so much so yeah and I think the way down will be a little bit steeper so we don't have that much space over here Maybe, let's see. And this one is still floating, so let's put another one. Okay. That is good to me. This one looks goodish, not, not perfect. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this likely corner. Actually, make it steep. I obviously will remove these containers from here. Uh, probably I need to do this right now. This one and yeah. So this will be the way over here, then down there. And yeah, now we need some electricity to get here. And let's think where shall we place the poles? Also, we need some way up there, but this will be like the next step. I think I'm gonna use these stairs. I'm not a huge fan of these, but the height difference is quite big. So yeah, we probably need to do this anyway. And the thing I really enjoy is making pathways above the mm, the truck stations so we you can have safe crossing uh, to the mm, from one side to the other so i think i'm gonna make the staircase over here yeah. So let's get up there. And uh, during this episode, I will focus uh, on the useful, uh, pragmatic stuff, and then I will get to the beautifying place uh, as much as possible. I'll do uh, as uh, many things as I can during this one hour, but I think the rest will be done offline because I, I like to experiment and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Are we high enough? We are. So, since the staircase ended in this awkward place, I I think I will make it Oops, something in the way of my mouse, but I, yeah, I fixed this like this, and yeah, there will be a little platform over here. So yeah, this is one thing. I could obviously make this lift go through the staircase. Maybe I should. Uh, 
yeah let's do this so i need to dismantle this stuff and actually this stuff as well so i will make these stairs like also this one part So if I will do this this way, it will end up the same way as this one. Yeah, let's do this like this. Actually, this wall will stay, and this stairs will go. here so it need to needs to be facing this way let's place whatever easily go underneath this one and now I can place the platform over here and let's place this belt over here and the first uh, reason why I got here it was to get the electricity over here so from this perspective I think I We'll put the power pole. God damn it, I, I don't have any wires. So let's see. Where are they? Here are some. And yeah. I think. This is a good place for the power pole, this one, yeah, on this section over here, like this. I will place the metal pathway over here so it will fit perfectly around here uh, later on this. And yeah, this will be connected to the station, obviously, but also it will extend over there. So yeah, the next step will be to get electricity over there, but since we are quite close to this oil refinery, it shouldn't be a huge task. 
like this. And the same will go over here. I think this will be enough like this and like the This one was a miss. So once again, let's connect it over here. And yeah, the belts are good here. This one is Mark free as well. So I let's get rid of this tree over here. Can I? That's probably this one. Or maybe this was the way. Maybe I could climb with the vines or something. But not sure about that. I think I'm gonna cut this one as well. Okay. this pole over here like this and from this point on I'll just try to get this looks like a nice place for the power pole I think I'll stick to the shore. should be up and running right now so let's see this mm. yeah. there also might be one thing I messed up but let's not jump for ourselves slowly getting uh, Caterium over here and let's actually mm, I will move all this storage somewhere around here uh, just for a minute it's like one, two, four, five, eight. Maybe six. I think this should be enough. Let's store everything inside of here. And the, uh, the reason is, uh, the next step will be making programming the trucks. I don't know if I ever done this uh, on stream so yeah let's store 
everything for a now. How much time do we have left? It's it should be just enough. So yeah. I'm gonna get to the truck. I'm gonna start from this place over here. Let's actually move back a little bit. So the truck station could detect. Oops. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, so let's create the truck over here mm, yeah it needs fuel as well and let's go so i'll start with recording from this truck station i think recording button seems to not work properly not sure why is that let's see controls it should be under the C <laughs> Can't record. Um, so yeah, I'll probably solve it offline. So let's just focus on the different stuff. Let's get some construction materials, mainly concrete and plates. rods as well Actually, let's make, take them all build some stuff just for the beautification of the place I think I'm gonna begin with this thingy over here get rid of this line and make it from here no this wasn't the one I wanted to get rid of this one like this
doesn't look good. So yeah, uh, this whole beautification, it's usually me building and dismantling things until I'm happy with them. So this is why, this is the reason I try to keep this offline. Because I don't think this is very interesting stuff to watch. Uh, what I'm thinking about right now is how to make this kind of uh, pathway from here to there above the head level so it will look good enough. And the way I'm gonna go with this will be probably like this. This. And the second one will go up from here. And obviously, I'm getting straight into the power pole. But maybe it wouldn't be a problem. I'm not. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this like one more, like this. Now let's turn this in this direction. Get as slow as possible. Maybe the other direction will be the better idea. Maybe let's go both on the side later. like this so we could safely cross the road without getting hit by a truck we have some room for foundations over here uh, yeah, and also mm, the stairs starts over here, so yeah, we need some way to cross this belt. like that yeah let's actually dismantle this stuff over here also it was the wrong belt anyway make it mark free and I'm missing the beams the windows over here just as a way to control stuff but the actual doors will be over here mm, yeah. and I'm gonna play 
is the staircase over here. and then over there um, actually I think this part won't be necessary so we could place the walls over here maybe sneak with little side entrance like this but not so sneaky yeah like that so we could walk in over here climb over there A little bit, a little back door over here. thing I like to do is placing equipment workshop or craft bench. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope it wasn't too loud for you. So actually equipment workshop is too big. So let's just place the craft bench over here. Some personal storage. Like this. I think I want this room to be little and cozy, like this one. There might be a little bit of storage over here as well. And yeah, I think that's, uh, that will be it for today's episode, so thanks for watching and see you next time.